Hi, this is Shankar, Assistant Professor from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. In this video lecture, we are going to cover about the cognitive models. Let us see what is cognitive model. Cognitive model represents a users of interactive systems. They model the following aspects of the user, understanding, knowledge, intentions, and processing. The level of presentation differs from the technique to technique, from models of high level goals and the result of problem solving activities to description of motor level activity such as keystrokes and mouse clicks. Then the cognitive models are divided into the following categories, hierarchical representation of user's task and goal structure, linguistic and grammatical models, Last one is physical and device level models. Let us see the goals and task hierarchies of the cognitive model. Hierarchical models represent a user task and goal structures. Many models make use of a model of mental processing in which the user achieves goals by solving sub goals in a divide and conquer fashion. Let us see one example how it has been solved. For example, to produce a report on sales of introductory HCI textbooks, to achieve this goal, we have to divide it into several sub goals. First, we have to gather the data together. Next, we have to produce the tables and histograms. And finally, we are writing the descriptive materials. Concentrating on the data gathering, we furtherly decided to split this into further sub goals. The first one, we have to find the names of all introductory HCI textbooks. And then we have to search the book sales database for these books and etc. For this, we have given uh, an example for producing a report we have to initially we have to gather our data to gather the data we need to find what is the book names how we are finding based on keywords so in, in do we are putting a keywords to search the names of the data uh, names of the books in the database Furtherly, we have to divide the sub goals for searching names of the database. It has been shifted through names and abstracts by hands. Next, we have to search the sales database. It has been furtherly divided into sub goals like uh, layout tables and histograms. After finally, we can write the description of the information. In this, we are facing some issues for the goal hierarchies. The first one is issues of granularity. Next, unit task. Next, conflict. And finally, prediction of error. So to <coughs> solve this, we are suggesting some models or techniques used for goal hierarchies. First one is GOMS, that is goals, G-O-M-S, goals, operators, methods, and selection. The next one is CCT model, that is Cognitive Complexity Theory. Let us see one by one what they are. Initially, we will see about GOMS, that is Goals, Operators, Methods and Selection Model. It is a model of Cod, Moran and Newell as an acronym for Goals, Operators, Methods and Selection. The elements of these models are Goals, First Goals. Goal is what the user wants to achieve. The next one is operator. It's a basic action that user performs. Next methods is a decomposition of a goal into sub goal or operators. Next one is selection. It's a choosing between completing methods. Let us see one by one. The goals are the user's goals describing what the user want to achieve in GOMS. The goals are taken to represent a memory point for the user from which he can evaluate what should be done and to which he may return should any error occur. 
Next, operators. Operators are the basic actions that the user must perform in order to use the system. They may affect the system or only the user's mental state. These are the lowest level of analysis. Next, methods. Methods or the several ways in which a goal can split into sub-goals. For example, a selected window can be closed an icon either by selecting close option or by hitting the L7 function key. In GOMS, these two goal decompositions are referred to as methods that has been written here. The goal is closing window. The options select the goal may use menu method, move mouse to file menu and pull down the file menu, then click over close. The option is control W method, press control keys. That also the another option. Next one is selection. Select is used to choose the method. GOMS attempts to predict which method will be used. This typically depends both on the particular user and on the state of the system and details about the goals. For example, it captures this is an selection rule for the user. The first rule is use the use menu method unless another rule applies. If application is blocked, use control W method. Next one is CCT method. That is cognitive complexity theory. Cognitive complexity theory is introduced by Eras and Paulsen and enriches the GOMS model to provide more predictive power. It has two parallel descriptions. First one is description of user goals in terms of production rules. Second one, generalized transition networks. The production rules are a sequence of rules, if, condition, then action. Example is given, for example, editing task using the Unix VI text editor. The task is to insert a space where one has been missed out in the text. You just say cognitive complexity theory. There are four rules are defined. First one, select insert space. Next, insert space is done. Next one, insert space one, insert space two. <coughs> the goals are given here. First, select insert space. Second is represent that insert space is done. And the next one, insert space one. And the next one, insert space two. In this case, they have written the condition if within the and, the test goal perform the unit task. The test text task is insert a space. If not, the test goal insert space is not there. And next test note exclude executing the insert space. If it is done, then the goal is added to insert the space. Add a note that executing insert space. You just look the text task is at the spaces inserted at specific line in the column or not. Similarly, the all the next examples also done. The content of working memory is or the goal is performing unit task. The test task is insert space. The test task is at fifth line, 23rd column. The cursor is moving from eight to seven. So similarly, the remaining also is working. Thank you guys for watching for this lecture series. Thank you. Thank you all.